All right, you're probably watching this. You might have needed some tips on the Level 9 Lesson 1 Challenge. So here we go. First thing you were asked to do was go to the draw object and use it to draw out the number of monsters. So I'll just, first of all, change that to monsters. And all I'm going to do here is I just really need to find out how many monsters there are and add it to the draw here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to sneak this in the line above. I'll just make a little variable called num, and I'll use from the cheat sheet. You should have seen there was a method or a script called instance number. I want to count how many monster objects there are. Now I have that answer. It's num. So what I can do right here is just add in the text number of monsters plus string num. And that should be it for the first part of the problem. So when you take a peek at this, Let's see it run. And you'll see the numbers changing, right? Five, four. Remember, these monsters destroy themselves when they leave the room. So you do end up seeing it down. If you want to speed scenes up, we can. I guess we can't really speed it up, but we could always go ahead and see, create more. Right. So it's working nicely, right? Perfect. The next part. Wanted you to do it so if the number of monsters ever went to zero. Okay, that we go to the next room. So, it said to use the game control for this. So let's use the game control. I'll go to the step method. So it's constantly asking. And all I can really ask is there's two ways I could do this one. I could say if the instance number of monster is zero, then room, go to, and I've just called the room game over. That's one way I could do it. And another way I could do it is I could just use instance exists. So I could say if instance exists, monster is false. Well, if it doesn't exist, that must mean there's zero of them. So I could also say game over room. Now, obviously, you do this one or you do that one, right? Let's put the curly brace in there. You choose which one of these you want to have. Okay, but that's the solution to that part. Now, the last part is the one part that actually uses the instance ID ideas. And it said, use the, doo -doo 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 -doo. it said, use the player, add the S key. And when the S keys hit, we're supposed to go through that whole process of picking a monster and destroying it. Okay, so you did something similar in the prag in the video files where we, picked the nearest monster and destroyed it. Same idea here, this time it's just the random one. So to go through those steps again, all you have to do is you just have to find out how many you have. So I'll say num is the instance number of monster. If I have zero, I'll get out of here. So if num is zero, exit. Now I'll pick a good random number, um, you know, which one is I, random range, 0, 2. Don't just say num there. It has to be num minus 1, right? Because the counting starts at 0. That's an important idea, right? If you have 10, you want to pick 0, 2, 10 minus 1, 0 to 9. That's how the monsters have been named or numbered on the screen. Now that you have a number, let's grab the ID. So I could I just call it monster ID. And I use the script, instance find. You name what object, monster, and you tell it which one you're looking for, which is which one, right? That's a number between 0 and whatever this is. Now that you have the ID to that monster, now you can control it. So I can say something like this. With that monster ID, instance destroy. Beautiful. No more monsters left. This gets you out of there. Monsters left. Pick a good one. Grab its ID. Control it. Give that a little test. And I think I put that in the S key. Bam, 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 bam. And, oops, I still have my controller object in there. It actually took me to the other room because I had no more monsters left. That's my game over room. 
Anyways, that's the solution to those four practice ones there. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Thanks for watching.